Hey, how's it going guys? Uh, today I just wanted to show you a couple of things that you can do to make Ubuntu feel a little bit more like home. We're going to install some extensions. We're also going to configure the shell as well as do a little bit of custom theming. Alright, let's get started. So here we are. <clears throat> this is a virtual machine I have of Ubuntu 22.04 and we're just going to make it feel more like home. So the first thing we want to do is install tweaks. We want to install extensions as well. So we're going to open up the Ubuntu Software Center. And we're going to install <coughs> GNOME extensions. We're also going to go back to the search and we're also going to search for tweak tool or GNOME tweaks. Next we're going to open up our web browser, Firefox in this case, and we're going to get the browser extension for uh, GNOME extensions. Click here to install the browser extension, continue the installation, we want to add it, and yes, we want to allow. Uh, no, that's fine. You can check that box if you'd like it to run within private windows. And <clears throat> this error here will come up in Ubuntu. Um, from what my testing shows, it, it doesn't really matter. So now we're just going to go through and install a couple of extensions that I typically will install on an Ubuntu system. I'm going to get Caffeine. Caffeine is a nice little extension that will, whenever you click this icon, it will keep your screensaver auto suspend disabled, or you can click that to enable it. That way you can have the screen turn off and lock whenever you're away but if you're at your PC you can just turn that on next extension we're going to look for is called runcat it's a little cat that will show up up here in the uh, dash and it's going to run based off of your CPU utilization uh, how fast the cat moves is how hard your CPU is working blur my shell this is a pretty neat little extension it is definitely going to uh, make GNOME feel a little bit more like home. By default you have this sort of Ubuntu graying around the edge but with Blur My Shell we can adjust the value of which it's blurred. The next extension is Dash From Panel. Dash From Panel is a top dock so we can get rid of this side dock entirely and it'll just show up here. There it is. Let's um, actually go into our extensions and let's turn off the Ubuntu dock. There we go. And we're also going to turn off our desktop icons. No one wants to see that. The next uh, extension we're going to install is the simple indication of workspaces extension. I do like this extension. This one's going to uh, give us a little polybar style thing here. So let's uh, let's open up something, or we'll bring this terminal to another workspace. Let's bring GNOME tweaks to that third one. When we come back, now you can see we have three available workspaces we can easily click and switch from. That's a very useful extension. Next uh, extension I'm going to search for is the uh, left clock extension. I'm 
This one's going to replace the activities button entirely with the clock, clearing up the dash a little bit more. And my next and final extension I'm going to install is the transparent window. Uh, and the transparent top bar as well. Transparent window moving. The next thing I'm going to do is install some software. So we'll open up a terminal, sudo apt install, and we're going to get Genie, the text editor. We're going to get HTOP. Um, we're going to do Vim and Ranger as well, as well as the ZSH shell. Okay. All right. So the next thing I think I'm going to do is um, install the Dracula icon set. So the first thing we're going to do is install this download right here. Let's go ahead and open that up with Archive Manager. Let's extract these files. Sure, that sounds great. Show the files. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is open this up in the terminal. And then We need to move them to the user share themes directory. I guess we'll be installing the theme and the icon set. That's all right. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and install the icon set now.
we don't need those zip files anymore so the next step here is to move this file to user share icons so we'll run an ls we'll move dracula to slash user slash share slash icons uh, sudo and then the next thing we're going to do is activate that icon theme we'll just come over here gnome tweaks and it should just show up Looks like we now have the appropriate Dracula theme set up. As you can see, our icons are different now. So we'll just close tweaks. We'll close that now that we're themed a little bit differently. Yeah, we might as well get the Dracula genie color scheme we're going to uh, get clone that again and then we're going to CD into genie and LS and then we're going to move that Dracula theme into our color schemes file. Then we're going to open up Genie, go up here, view, change color scheme, and Dracula theme is now available in Genie. Next thing we're going to do is also install the Dracula theme for the GNOME terminal. Get rid of that, then we'll install next thing we're going to do is copy and paste this command, another git clone. Then we're going to cd into the gnome terminal. Then we're going to copy this and we're just going to run install. Uh, we're going to choose the Dracula color scheme. Yes to continue. Install one for Dracula capital yes enter please select a one for default are you sure you wish to override yes uh, enter your choice two is default one is yeah let's go with that Alright, now we should be able to open up the terminal and it should have 
the Dracula colors, as you can see, that is now purple. So, now that we've got a little bit more theming done, we've got some color schemes. Let's go ahead and set some backgrounds now. Just add some pictures. There we go. Let's go ahead and close down some of these things we don't need open anymore. And there you go. Those are a couple of basic things that I like to do to give GNOME a little bit more of a customized approach and look and feel to it. Uh, there's a lot more you can do with extensions, of course, but this was just a quick little look. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.